Well, ReZero Season 2 Core 1 is over, and I'm going to miss this show. <laughs> yes, we'll be back in three months, but that's a long time. So I wanted to take this chance just to speculate about where things should go. No spoilers if I'm right, though. I do not want to be spoiled. I just like guessing, so laugh at me being wrong. Please. <laughs> though I do appreciate the people not spoiling stuff before, so just keep that up. Thank you. All right, so so far in Season 2, we've wrapped up what it seems like the setup. Like, all the pieces are in place, and now it's time for everything to come together. So I wonder, does that mean is Super not going to die anymore? It sort of feels like this timeline, things are setting up for him to succeed. Like, he's getting Otto in uh, Patrish, the ground dragon, whatever her name was. Patrish, right? So it seems like things are in place for that to work. Though, I definitely wonder, could something go horribly wrong? I mean, that's what tends to happen. But I still feel like he has a chance here. Though, it will seem strange. Assuming this arc is all this one loop, that would mean that he won't die again for the rest of the season, which, yeah, that doesn't seem like ReZero. Granted, this arc is also a lot bigger scale in everything going on than the others, so maybe? I guess we'll see. Going back to what is going on, though, we have Amelia, and she needs to overcome the trials, especially with Subaru basically locked out of the graveyard and unable to go back now, though he might get it back, but it definitely feels like this is him moving on. So I'm wondering, what will Amelia's trials be? I remember that Memory Snow took place further on in the web novel in Arc 4, so I wonder if that's like her first trial, the trial of her past, like how Subaru had it with his parents. And that would make a lot of sense, and that would be where we see a lot with Amelia, have a lot of questions, but also understand her a lot more. So that would definitely be one trial. I'm pretty confident on that one. But my question is, what are the other trials? Like, with Subaru, we had his trials of the present, where he saw the how the world went on after he died. So will Amelia also have trials of the present? And we will see, like, what other places in the world are like because of how Amelia feels that she messed up or the problems she caused, even if it's subconsciously. Like, I'm not quite sure how that would work. And then would the last trial be her future where she thinks she might end up and all the challenges that would be associated with that? I don't know. It would fit the pattern we saw with Subaru, but yeah, we don't know. <laughs> let's Let's find out. And yeah, I do want to see her overcome it. I'm wondering, like, how much will Subaru help with that? Like, I wonder if, like, they could take the trial together. But at the same time, it feels like this is a moment that Amelia needs to stand on her own. Both, like, as the person within the story, but also as a character in how she fits into the story. Because I really don't want Amelia to need Subaru to save her all the time. That's not what makes a good character. We want someone who stands on her own. Maybe with the help of others, but not like she's just using him as a crutch, if that makes sense. Also, I originally scripted this video, but with 3.0 it's more fun to talk off script, so yeah, I might be kind of all over the place using my script as notes. But yeah, I wonder will Amelia end up meeting the witches during one of the trials? Like Subaru did, though obviously he has that connection to Satalia with her turn by death, and the witches fact from Sloth, and Amelia doesn't. Probably. The word familia has the witch factor somehow. How would that work? Yeah, this is a crazy theory I'm coming up with on the spot. There's no evidence for this theory, though. It's just a crazy possibility that could, but probably isn't happening. But yeah, there is a connection there between Amelia and Satalia, though. So maybe that's enough for Amelia to meet the others? And I wonder how they would react to her. Or, like, how would she react to them? Like, Subaru could kind of handle their weirdness... But I don't know if Amelia could. They might just break her. Granted, uh, Pro the Witch of Pride did break uh, Subaru, the Typhoon, right? I'm bad with names, by the way. But yeah, I do hope we get more of the witches. They're interesting and fun and weird and cool. Though it seems like it's going to be a while until they do. Maybe like at the end of the arc? And Echidona especially seems to be too important not to see again. But yeah, I wonder. I also wonder about the nature of the Gospels. Like, where do they come from? Why? Who created them? 
It seems like both Roswell and Beatrice have a true gospel, while the ones that the witches cultists have are fake. Though Beatrice's apparently hasn't said anything for a while, we definitely seem like Roswell's was continuing to say stuff, so why is that? And considering they are all about knowledge, and Echidona has a love of knowledge, I think that she was the one who created them. Though, why is Beatrice's gospel not working? Maybe Roswell stole the power from her somehow? But why would he do that, considering... Uh, Considering that Beatrice is one of the few people that Roswell fully trusts. Though, just because he trusts Beatrice does not mean that Beatrice should trust him. And you saw how scheming Roswell is. He only cares about one thing. We don't know what that one thing is, though. And, like, Roswell has no issue sending Elsa after the mansion where he, she could kill everyone, including Beatrice. But keep in mind, Beatrice's true wish is to die. So by sending Ros or by Roswell sending Elsa, that would mean that Elsa could kill Beatrice, fulfilling Beatrice's wish. So Roswell doing that would fulfill her wish. And Ram is the other person that he fully trusts. Ram is with her and is perfectly fine. So that makes me wonder: Does Roswell know about Ram? Obviously, the memory of Ram was wiped out. But Roswell has the gospel. Does the gospel know about Ram? Possibly. And if it did, and it, the gospel came from Echidona, and Echidona sees things through Subaru's eyes, so yeah, it would make sense. Interesting. This was not in my script, by the way. I just made, up, made this one up on the spot. Oh, yeah. Though, yeah, here we are with uh, what is Roswell's true wish? Is it a love for Echidona? Maybe. But I feel like it's more complicated than that. Roswell obviously understands Echidona and knows her and all that. But that does not mean that he is in love with her. Though it doesn't mean he's not. And what is Roswell truly after? Well, we see that he is uh, trying to push Subaru in a direction. Make him like himself for some sort of goal. Though again, what is that goal? Yeah, th this is hard. And why Subaru specifically? Is it just because Subaru has that reset power? Or is there something else? So yeah, I'm confused. I'm also curious about the nature of the Gospels and what they say. They are recorded events that will happen, but we don't know like what perspective, how much detail. Are they like the diaries in Future Diary that will only slightly tell the future and then will change if a certain person does certain things that go against it? And is that why the Roswell knows about Subaru's power? Does that tell him? But he doesn't know what triggers the reset, which tells me that the gospel is more limited in capability. And I also wonder if the gospel tells Roswell about Earth. I brought up a theory early in the season that Roswell seemed to be alluding to Christianity, with him commenting on how Subaru had a miraculous return from the grave after three days. So is there a connection there? That would be really cool. And during my last video, I pondered what Satalia meant when she said that Subaru saved her. And I thought that maybe she'd used Return by Death to reset time herself, but during the time that she had reset that now no one knows about, Subaru had saved her. Kind of like how Subaru was saved by Amelia, and then he's super in love with Amelia now, and the time is reset so Amelia forgot about it and just thought Subaru was kind of weird. But in Satya's case, when she died, she then gave the return by death power to Subaru. Though if that is true, and again speculation, but if that is true, does she still have the power? Can only one person have it? And if she still has it, is that why she wants Subaru to kill her? Because that is the only way she can truly die if someone else with return by death kills her? That would be weird. And, again, lots of speculation. And there's also the question of what is the connection between Amelia and Satalia? Because there has to be one. They look the same. The, the voice actors are the same. They even kind of act the same. There's a theory on Reddit that Satalia is Amelia from the future who traveled back in time, which kind of makes sense. But I also don't like it because it's not my theory and I want to be right and not have other people be right. I'm probably not right, though. But it also doesn't explain why Satalia is a witch. 
are all the other witches former people or elves as well or half elves maybe they were people once and then infused with a great power that like twisted who they were but also gave them a lot of magic powers so yeah i'm gonna go with my theory that subaru saved satalia she is returned by death and now here we are but i wonder what if instead of in this world is where subaru saved her it was on earth and it was some event that subaru did not C is important, so he forgot about it. And that means that Taya is from Earth, or maybe she spent some time on Earth and can go between the two worlds, and what if that's one of the witch's powers is to go back and forth? That, I mean, it did seem like she pulled Subaru from Earth into their world, so why couldn't it be the other way around? And why was Subaru the one pulled from Earth? Was it just luck? I don't think so. I don't feel like luck is a justification for the things that happened here. And like, maybe after my theorized reset, then Sataya reached out to grab Subaru again, but that still doesn't explain why he was there in the first reset. Yeah, so many questions. All right, let's go back to the current conflict, and that's how will Subaru get through this loop? He has to deal with the attack from Elsa while also keeping the sanctuary safe, and Roswell has basically made it impossible for him to do both, at least alone. So I feel like he'll need to rely on others for one of the two conditions. And it seems like going to save the mantra would probably be the one that would matter the most, or the one that he would need help with the most. Like, maybe he will send Ram and Otto to go get help for the mansion, since alone, yeah, we already saw that Ram and Frederica together cannot defeat Elsa. There's also Beatrice too, but Elsa can also kill her, and I think them teaming up still would not be enough. So maybe they could find Krush and get help from her forces again? But would they really have enough time to do so? And maybe they could trick Elsa into thinking Roswell told him to stand down? But I doubt that would work. Or maybe Otto could use his power to communicate with all the animals in the forest? That would be really neat. But again, would it be enough? I don't feel like it would. They need someone really strong to take down Elsa. They used Reinhardt last time, and yes, Reinhardt was way overkill. But Amelia couldn't do it. Uh, she didn't have pucks, but yeah, Amelia's pretty strong. So I guess we don't know quite how she fits into the whole power thing. But still, if me, or Elsa defeated her easily, so yeah, there's that. They definitely need help from someone. But going back to the sanctuary, how is they going to do that? Based on what Echidona said, Subaru will need to ally with Garfield to get his help. And they could also use the Rizu clones, possibly. Though the bigger thing would be, how do they stop things from getting really bad? Like, can they stop the Great Rabbit from showing up? If they do, then I think they'll possibly be okay. Amelia will need to pass the trial, so if Subaru can support her through that, keep the big mana thing that attracted the rabbit from happening, then they'll be okay. Though that almost sounds too simple. It is too simple for ReZero. So what could happen? And lastly, for my final random theory, is that Petra is going to get a moment of awesome where she saves Subaru. I mean, all the maids are capable fighters like Ram, Rem, Friedrika, so it only makes sense that they would train Petra how to fight because a maid needs to protect their master. So yeah, that would be fun. Plus, Petra would love being able to save Subaru. And she's just great. It would be great storytelling too. So I think that's going to happen. So yeah, those are my theories. Am I wrong about them all? Probably. So I'm hoping I got one, maybe two right. If I got two right, I will consider this a success. But yeah, now I go back to waiting for the second core. Oh boy. So yes, thank you for watching, for listening to me ramble about ReZero. More ReZero videos will be coming when I get time and all that. So look forward to those. And yes, thank you for watching.